Hi guys. Uh, this week we have been operating a number of spinal cord tumors. Uh, I can say majority of them were spinal cord ependymomas. So let me discuss the various treatment options present for spinal cord ependymomas. So the ependymoma of the spine. What is the treatment approach? I'm Dr. Kalyan Bumakanti. I'm a neurosurgeon and spine surgeon. I'm based in Hyderabad, India, and I work in Aveer Glenagel's Global Hospital, Hyderabad. So let us first define ependymoma. Ependymoma is a type of primary central nervous system tumor that arises from ependymal cells which lie in the ventricles and the central canal of the spinal cord. Because I'm speaking about the spinal cord ependymoma, let me tell you. So, this is this, this is the, the, the tumor arises. So this is a example of spinal cord ependymoma. So what are our treatment goals? The primary goals of treating ependymoma of the spine are to achieve one complete tumor removal, but at the same time, you will have to preserve neurological function. And third one is to prevent tumor recurrence. So what is the dictum is safe maximal excision. So sometimes when the tumor is very densely adherent to the spinal cord or when the plane of cleavage between the tumor and the spinal cord is not evident, complete tumor excision may not be possible. Sometimes, in spite of developing a plane, being very careful, it's not possible to preserve the neurological function completely. This particularly happens with a higher grade of tumor or very large size of the tumor. And if there is any tumor left or if the grade of the tumor is higher like grade 3, the tumor recurrence can happen. So what are the treatment options available with us? As everyone knows, surgery is the mainstay of treatment for ependymoma of the spinal cord. We aim for complete tumor resection whenever feasible. It may involve laminectomy or hemilaminectomy, or if the tumor is very large, spanning over many segments, an extensive approach may be required depending on the tumor location and the size. One, a large amount of laminectomy or a wide laminectomy removing the facets is required is done a spinal fusion may be required to stabilize the spine after tumor removal spinal fusion we rarely do in case of ependymoma in my experience so this is one example you can see the spinal cord this is well defined circumscribed tumor grayish color vascular this is being removed with help of various microsurgical instruments. Radiation therapy, it has a role, but it's never the primary treatment. Very rarely it's a primary treatment. Usually it is used in conjunction with surgery. It is typically delivered post-operatively to the tumor bed and the surrounding areas to target any residual tumor cells and reduce the risk of recurrence. Chem uh, chemotherapy is not typically used. It is used especially for recurrent tumors or metastatic tumors. And the commonly used chemotherapy and therapeutic agents include vincristine, cisplatin, and etoposide. Rehabilitation plays a crucial role in the overall management of patients with ependymoma of the spine. Physical therapy, occupational therapy, and other rehabilitation interventions may be utilized to improve functional outcomes, manage pain, and optimize quality of life. Let us conclude. Ependymoma treatment includes a multidisciplinary approach for optimal management. Treatment options include surgery, which is a primary choice, radiation therapy, which is given for residual tumor or 
or to prevent tumor recurrence chemotherapy which is given for recurrent tumor or metastatic tumor but treatment in addition to maximal excision it also involves preserving neurological function and preventing a recurrence and as i have told rehabilitation plays a very crucial role in the overall management of patients with ependymoma of the spine to optimize functional outcomes and quality of life the regular follow up is essential for monitoring tumor recurrence and managing potential treatment related complications thank you and do not forget to take the advice of a proper healthcare qualified professional before you embark on treatment this presentation of mine is mainly for my colleagues my my colleagues my juniors my students to understand this treatment and if you are a patient or an a uh, relative of a patient or a colleague of a patient or a friend of the patient do consult a neurosurgeon or a spine surgeon near to you because the treatment for each patient is different thank you and do subscribe to this channel and share the video with people who may get benefited from this